everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I just remembered I didn't do any of my comments today. I just remembered that. So um, my husband goes, well, you're going to have to do a lot of extra tomorrow. And I says, no, I probably will have to do a lot tonight because I'll post this and then I'll go back and I'll, I'll um, answer my comments. And then I'm going to have to watch a lot of videos because that's what I do when I answer the comments. I answer the comments and then I check to see if a new video has been posted. If a new video has been posted, then I watch that. It's going to be a long night. My, what? Where are, are you from? Oh, I didn't say where I was from. He said, <laughs> <laughs> he signed it and he said it. I am from Western New York, which means I'm from way country. It's, it's real country. It's, um, there's grapes in our area. Used We're, to be the grape. Uh, Great Belt. Concord, great capital of the world. Oh, the Concord. The United States. Oh, the United States. Okay. If you if you really want to know, it's the it used to be the Concord Grape Capital of the United States. You could Google that. Maybe you'll find out where that is. But we're we're um, surrounded by grapes and country and hills and lake lake and lots of grass lots and lots and lots of grass and we live where you can actually have animals now today I was watching Bob's live stream and he was talking about homesteading and um, you know I think we are a homesteader in a sense the only thing I don't have is I don't have large animals and the reason I don't have large animals is I don't want to take care of them in the winter summertime it wouldn't be so bad but it's the winter time that would make it hard we did think that at one time we wanted to get some goats because goats eat a lot of um, shrub, grass, underbrush, and that stuff. And the land that we mow would be great to have some goats there. But I couldn't convince my brother to take them in the winter because I only wanted to take care of them in the summer and the spring and early fall. But I didn't want to do it in the winter. And he doesn't want to do it. He used to have goats. He used to have... Um, beef cattle and he used to have cow and one day when I was when we were um, we had gotten up and I says oh my goodness whose cows are on our hill and it was his calves but they weren't little and I says oh I'll just go out and lead them down well the closer I got to them the bigger they got and so then I, I came back and I says I think I'm gonna just see if I can find out who they belong to because they're pretty big I had I had a fear of um, the cow when I was younger and the calves if when they got to a certain size but these were really big they were taller than me by on the shoulder and that meant their head was even higher and their backsides were high they were just big they were ready for the for butchering basically and well beyond I think I don't know they were just big they were huge so I sent my poor son <laughs> I call. I called around to find out whose cows they were, or whose beef. I think they were beef cattle. I don't know if there was yeah, any. I think they were just cows. Were they just cows? Yeah. I don't know what they were. Very. Can't remember. All I know is they were very dark, very black. And um, I called around to find, and then when I found out it was my brother, he came with his son, and I sent my son, and they walked. The cows back to his farm which was as the crow would fly straight through the vineyard and into the brush it was how many half, how far? half, half to a three mile. fourths of a mile not even a mile I'll just go that far because <laughs> I don't know how far it is and he helped walk the the animals back to the farm and it was I'm glad he did it, and not me, because, and, I, and you know, I think he was a little leery, but poor, poor kid, I used to have him, I used to have him pick up the dog poop, <laughs> and he did a, he did a, a paper for school where they had to do a essay. essay, there we go, couldn't think of the word, an essay, and he, he did his on the jewels in the snow, 
And the way he did it, it was a really, you had no clue what he was going to talk about at the end, what the jewels in the snow were, because it sounded like it was a really, like you wanted to go out and dig those jewels in the snow. And then at the end, it, it's got the, you found out it was dog poop, which was frozen in the snow. And um, he did that. And he, he used to have to pick, he picked up the dog poop. And then if there was a snake that I needed to get rid of, or move I used to say for him to go do it or if there was a dead mouse if Jim didn't do it then he'd have to do it just all the ishy stuff and if there was a spider maybe he'd go kill the spider for me poor kid I don't know if he was afraid of these things or not but I sure was so we would get him to do it well anyways I was saying that um, when I was watching Bob's he was talking about homesteading I got off track a little bit and he was talking about how you, 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 you're going to need to know how to do a lot of things. Well, I guess in a sense we're homesteaders because we know how to, we've had to build. In fact, I have to tell you, we've, we've done plumbing, electrical, and my clock's going to dawn. But I have to tell you, um, when we first moved into this house, the, it's made with horsehair plaster because it's a very old home. And in our bedroom, there was a real big crack that was in the ceiling. And as time went on, that crack was starting to gap. So we took a pole and a piece of plywood, and my husband put the plywood on the ceiling and wedged the pole underneath to help hold the ceiling up so that it wouldn't fall. We were downstairs eating supper one day, and we heard this big old crash. And I said, well, there goes our ceiling. Went upstairs, our ceiling is still up there. It didn't fall. It was a whole nother bedroom that we had no clue that the ceiling was that loose had fallen. And luckily it fell not on the bed because if the bed would have been in a different place, it would have been fallen right on the bed, but it didn't. So we ended up gutting that room and our room at the same time because I said I was afraid our ceiling was going to fall sometime. So we did two rooms at one time where we... we um, took the horsehair plaster off and then the lath underneath and then insult had to rewire because these rooms they only had I think it was like maybe one or two plugs on on a wall one plug one, one plug per room it was bad yeah. and some of them didn't even have ceiling lights so we put ceiling lights in and plugs on every wall and um, so we had to do the wiring, the insulation, and then put the wallboard back up and then put paint them, finish, finish, do the finishing and make the window casings. When we bought the house, there was no window casings or window, there was nothing around the inside window. In fact, if the curtains weren't there, I would have noticed it, but I didn't look. And so whenever we would look at something or have tell people that when they're looking at a house to make sure you pull the curtains back and look and make sure you've got window casings because our house didn't have them, but we didn't know it because the curtains were hanging, so you didn't see it. And so that was um, what he was talking about. He was talking about homestead. And we have done, um, we actually had to run a gas line because when we were putting in the chicken house, my husband was digging with the um, backhoe. He was doing really good, but then when he got the shovel to, or the hole digger, Post hole, shovel. post hole shovel to dig a hole he nicked the gas line well for two years the gas line was sealed and okay um and Not my on the national fuel gas side it's on our purpose. on our side it wasn't the yeah we were we were losing the gas it was the meter was running normal but we were losing gas apparently under the ground but one day it decided to just blow out completely. And so he had to dig up the ground, remove part of the decking in the back to find where it went into the house. And he had to um, put a new gas line in to go back into the other section of the house. So he had to tie into it. And so we had that done. And there was other things that he's done. Like if there's something in the car needs, he would, um, change the filters, change the brakes, change, you know, do things like that. The only thing he doesn't do is if it's got electrical thing that he doesn't know. Well, he does, but he doesn't. We go to the, 
there's a garage that we can go to or a store that we can go to and they'll put the the thing on it and we'll tell you what's firing what's not working what do you need to change and so then we change that and so we save ourselves a lot of money by doing the work ourselves actually I don't do the work <laughs> I just say we do the work. Yeah, I, I help pay for it. That's about it. Out of his money. <laughs> yeah. So, and that was, I guess, um, what else did I want to say? Anything else? Um, about, let's see. Oh, he's done repairs on hydraulics and, I don't know, we've just done a lot. Just about I'm anything sure that you need to do. We have so. done it, and and it saves you money, and just like he'll buy stuff that's broken, like buy that um, ATV or that four wheel or whatever you want to call it, I would have never bought it, but apparently he knew that the parts were a lot cheaper than trying to buy a brand new one. So and he got it fixed, and now he's looking at what is it that you want to change on it? You want to change something because there's a little um. oil leak, and so he wants to change that. Just got to change the gaskets, a gasket. in, the, in the valve covers. And so he'll do that so that it won't leak oil on our floor or wherever, or lose oil. So there's the cuckoo clock. Now it's time to say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye.